What's up, party people? So it's Morsi here. I got another video for y'all. This one is a bit controversial, kind of. I want to discuss the reason why I decided not to buy Gold Clip. And one main reason was I already have Standard Clip. It's 25 bucks. Gold Clip is 250 bucks. And even with that Black Friday sale for $50 off, am I really making a difference in my life? When I already have something that's standard, literally. So check it. I was listening to a podcast. Um, I think it was the Help Me Devon podcast. And Jason Joshua was on. And he literally was talking about how he still transfers over from gold clip to standard clip. And that right away just told me one thing. If Jason Joshua, one of the best mixers of all time, is still using standard clip, then what the hell is the difference if I get gold clip? Will that really improve my loudness um, and, and song structure? Not really. I'm already able to get negative six luffs and still sound super clean because I have proper gain staging set and a dynamic EQ on my bass and low frequencies. The levels are all right, so I can push this shit as, as, how, as hard as I want and um, it'll still sound clear. So I thought to myself, the only reason why I even wanted to buy Gold Clip or not use Standard Clip is because the shit was ugly, which then leads us to, voila, this. You're probably looking at this Standard Clip going, how the hell did he switch the colors? And it's quite simple. And, the, and let's just talk about the whole gooey GUI thing it's it's true a lot of these plugin companies are literally making sure that you buy new products by just the way it looks they have designers that focus on making it look good because the users want to make it want to use something that looks good and standard clip was ugly as fuck oxford inflator another plugin ugly as fuck um so when i found out that you can change the color i thought this would be a fun project just because now it looks better and it's like it's just cool it looks like it's a new plugin and i'm still using standard clip and i only spent 25 bucks so it's like right there we're saving money and it feels i don't know it just it feels better when i'm using it it's it's a thing man do not use those uh, or a lot of people don't want to use those ugly ass looking plugins they just look outdated Anyway, enough talking about that. Let me just show you how you do this. You literally just turn on the gear on the top corner. And you scroll down to GUI, appearance. And then you can customize it. I have one that I did that was like pink and purple. And funny enough, my five-year-old daughter was a pain in my ass and kept asking, hey, dad, I want to try, I want to try. Let me mess with the colors. And she actually came up with something similar to this. Accidentally, she started picking yellow and I was like, ooh, this looks good. So this was by accident and I decided to keep it because it actually looks the best. So shout outs to my five-year-old. <laughs> I should pay her. Um, anyway, you can go to appearance, custom, and you can start opening up a gear um, or go to on top colors and then you just start adjusting the colors as you please. I honestly don't even want to click on anything because I don't want to mess up what I already have started. But once you're done with all your color updates, you just go to pre go back to the presets tab and add new preset. And then you can name it and that's it you're good to go so is it simple as that i saved myself pretty much 250 dollars or 200 dollars, and i'm completely satisfied with sticking with standard clip hope that helps it was a little quick tip and yeah matter of fact while we're at it let's uh, hear the track that i'm working on let's see if it blows out the recording device um 
Let's see. Yeah, that was a little teaser of a new track with Rich Furness and I. I think we're calling it Bass Slap. And you probably are wondering, this guy's not even using standard clip correctly. Um, I'm strictly using it on the master just to catch any extra peaks that uh, might be activated when the transients are hitting. Plus, I have Pro L2 turned off, my final limiter. So that's also not catching enough peaks. I'm just got to say that because I know all the uh, crap talkers out there <laughs> that are going to be like, this guy's not even using it correctly. Um, anyway, that's that. If you enjoyed, all I ask is that you like and subscribe like everybody else asks. And that's it. Until next time, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Holla.